It's a fly ball deep to left. Back, back. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey. He did it. Ernie Banks got number 500. Fans from all over came to Daly Plaza today to pay tribute to legendary Cubs player Ernie Banks. Banks died last week at the age of 83 from a heart attack. But even in his passing, Mr. Cub, as he was affectionately known, still brings joy to many. We got a chance to play with him uh, in the name of uh, baseball. And I've been telling people all my life that I've played ball with Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks was more than just a baseball player. He was a people person. He gave and he loved, and that's the way he lived his life that stands out. His personality that when he offered to get me a tip, I was a waiter. I did not accept it because I said you and gave me enough. Thaddeus Roby first met Ernie when he was a waiter in the 1980s. He says Ernie's personality and his kindness impacted the way he lives his life. And I, and I pray each and every day from what I gained from Ernie, I want to share it with others. And that's what I do each and every day, share kindness. Banks was the first black player on the Chicago Cubs team. And for his entire 18-year career, he played at the friendly confines. But it was the life he led after his retirement that made him even more special. He served as a Cubs coach, administrator, and ambassador for many years, and served as a mentor and inspiration to many generations. He was a facilitator of dreams. And, you know, I grew up in Chicago in a neighborhood, and all of us from different ethnic backgrounds, different religions, <laughs> diff different everything, all aspire to be as great as Ernie, and he gave us that dream that we someday could make it. Cubs owner Tom Ricketts says the team has many tributes planned for Mr. Cub throughout the season, fitting for a man that leaves behind many memories, life lessons, and a powerful legacy. He's up there with Ron Sano and Ernie Banks, and my dad's probably seeing them in the stands from somewhere, and you know, the field is green, and the team is behind him, and he's saying, let's play too. You know, maybe a perfect day for it. The sun's out, a little cold, but it was April and it was a little warmer and the sun was out. Perfect for any. Hey, holy mackerel, no doubt about it. The Cubs are on their way. Hey, hey, hey! I'm Charles Jefferson, reporting.